Hello everybody, this is a segment of Deep Thoughts with Rachel. And something that I want to cover today is confidence. Now, this is going to be my first video and I would like to do more, but I just want to say that this is purely an opinion, okay? This is what I think. And if you don't agree with me, then that's okay too. But this is something that I want to do to be able to help people. And if this at all, any little bit helps anybody, then I'm happy. So without further ado, I'm just going to be playing Ghost of Tsushima. And I want to talk a little bit about confidence. So I guess as a start, though, before we do that, I just want to say that I am not confident all of the time and I am recently just kind of finding my own thing on how to be confident and honestly what I've found is not only do you need to believe in yourself but you can't be hard on yourself you can't expect yourself to know what to do all the time or to motivate yourself to do everything perfectly like growing up I expected myself to be this am I going the right way I am expecting myself to be this perfect person perfect image of myself and I forgot I had a horse and honestly that's really unrealistic of me or if that's the case for any of you, that's unrealistic of you too. We are not perfect. None of us are. And that's not a bad thing. Having flaws and accepting those flaws is a, not only is a sign of growth, but it's also being able to accept all that you are. And that's important. And I'm gonna be seen. I literally just came here. Okay. Um, what was I saying? So basically, you have to be able to decide for yourself the difference between what you do need to do for yourself and um, what you think is being too hard on yourself. Because I know that for the longest time... Who sees me? Listen, buddy. Is there a boy and a... Is it you? Because I'm going to be mad. Okay. You have to decide if you're being hard on yourself or if you're literally just... I'm not going to hit this. No, I'm not. That is not a person. I thought that was a straw hat. I'm an idiot. Okay. Um, I keep going off. Okay, so basically you can't be hard on yourself and you have to decide on what you just need to try your best at. And that's all we can do at the end of the day is try our best. We can't expect ourselves to be perfect. We can't expect ourselves to be 100% motivated all the time because that's really unrealistic. And I am totally totally like guilty of this I did this all the time I I listened to others how they thought I listened to how you know my family thought and at the end of the day what matters is what you think about yourself and to be able to have confidence in what you do you 100% are the only one that holds can that holds you back when it comes to being able to do what you want to do if you want to like do something that is a little risky even as an example when it comes to a job if you're gonna be happy if you're gonna love what you do and that's your passion go for it if it's art writing or whatever go for it oh my goodness gracious guys and I hope that works out for you and I'm walking into this camp because I honestly okay there it is that's what I wanted is there anybody behind me? Yeah, they're gonna see me. Oh, I hear footsteps. Oh, it's him. He's like backing up and then he's like 
<laughs> Fighting the air? Okay. Anyway. Um, oh, he's gonna see me. Nope, nope, nope. Can I do a chain assassination? Oh, okay. Sure. Alright, so basically, you need to be able to do what you want to do with your life, and you can't let anybody tell you differently. You didn't see me. You didn't see me. No, it's okay. Okay, so basically, I'm gonna try to think while I'm doing this. Okay, come on. Let's go. Oh, shit. Okay. And nope. Oh, shit. I hate the straw hats. Okay. Come on. Yeah, I blocked it backwards, guys. Oh! Oh, hi everybody. We're gonna do this. Okay. Just give me a moment and we will return to our regular schedule program because I hate these guys. Freaking. Oh, I didn't miss. It's okay. I didn't miss. It's okay. We're good. We're fine. Oh, did he get shot? <laughs> okay. Okay, this dude's actually easier than a frickin' straw hat. I hate them so much. I don't want that. Okay, so basically when it comes to doing what you want to do with your life, you can't let anybody tell you different. And you need to be able to decide whether or not that's something that you want to do for yourself. Of course, um, don't, going in, don't go into that career choice blind, but Research at your own discretion. Get people's opinion, but be able to filter out what you want from the conversation, what you feel is valuable. Because even my, like me saying all this, this is an opinion. Everybody has opinions. Yes, there are facts, like when it comes to statistics or whatever, but at the end of the day, people are people. We're not all knowing. Gosh, our parents are not all knowing by a long like shot. Like 100%. You didn't see me. It's okay. I just want to get some arrows, dude. Yeah, it's, it's all good. Yeah, no sign of me. So, I can do this so much faster, but I'm thinking and doing this at the same time, so bear with me, guys. So, you, be, you have to be able to determine what you want for yourself. You can't let anybody tell you different and you need to be able to decide what opinion is valuable and when people say things to you can't take things too personally because they might be projecting onto you their feelings and how they feel when in reality it's not really dependent on what you are actually doing I don't want to fight you come here come here what, what are you doing? You hugging that, that, that wall? You think you can hide from me? Nope. Nope. Okay. We're not doing this. Thank God. Okay. Hi. How's it going? Oh. I could block that. I could have blocked that. I could have blocked it, but I wanted to heal. Okay. I'm better than this, guys. I promise. Okay. I can't see. Oh, did you see that? Ooh. Hi. How's it going? Whoop. Oh. You guys are dead. So you have to be able, I think I've said that a million times, to determine that for yourself. And yeah, financial stuff is an issue too. But I feel like if you're able to figure out a way to do what you want to do, then I think you should do it. Because there's no sense, from what I believe, we got one life. Or at least right now, this is your life, right now. In this moment, this is you. And you should focus on what will make you happy. It's kind of hard right now, because quarantine, I understand that. Gosh, I'm in the same boat. But 
it's okay. You know, it, it's, you're gonna, and if you fail, if you've tried this already and you're like, oh my gosh, I've already tried, whatever. You can't give up. You honestly can't. Cause it's, when it comes to your happiness, you can't give up what you care about. It really, it's really important to do what makes you happy in life and you can't let anybody tell you differently. Can I? T yes, I can. Another thing that I wanted to say about confidence is I'm, I'm an INFJ, so I get in my head a lot. And I am my worst critic, and that is the case for a lot of other people too. I know that for certain. And you have to, like I said before, determine the difference between being hard on yourself and what you need to do for yourself. And you can't expect yourself to be perfect. And I'm not trying to repeat anything. I'm just trying to say that Welcome. I literally I wanted to make sure that was a point. Not really. I'm just being polite, but I do want your help. A map was stolen from This is my first playthrough, guys, so I'm a little quiet because I want to hear this. <laughs> so we're clear. The map marks the locations where food is stored. Oh, nice. This is how I feed Oyotama's people. So you need me to find the thief. Oh, I know where he is. Hiding in a gambler's den by the three paths well. I just need you to retrieve the map. I'll see what I can do. But if you're lying to me... Lord Sakai, mm. I am nothing if not honest. Oh, I don't know just that. Just ask the last man who questioned my sincerity. You'll find his head covered in flies out back. Damn, I don't know you, woman. Trust is gained. It's earned. You you can't just can't expect that from me. Anyway, that that could be another video. Oh my gosh. Be okay, careful. so many oh. people know the thief who took the map. And the yeah. I'll go okay. To get it yeah, you don't know me, man. I'm a I'm a boss. I got this. So where do I have to go? I gotta go that way. All right. I'm going to Astro. Okay, I was saying a thing. So give me give me a second. So basically Oh you wanna trade, that's so sweet. So basically when you when it comes to motivation and believing in yourself you can't be hard on yourself. You can't expect yourself to, and compare yourself. That's another thing to other people. Because people went through things in their own way. They gain wisdom through their mistakes and how they came to be. And when it comes to people who have gained this experience, that's something that they have gathered for themselves. And you can pick and learn from those people and do what you want with it. Learn from it. Where's the gambler's dead? I have a few friends that, you know, they've gone through things and that I've learned from those things that they've went through. But I am I'm not them. That's that's what they have done, and what am I supposed to do? Oh, okay, so this is an area thing. Look for the gambler's den. Is that a cave? Oh, okay, so it's a big area. Probably up there. Um, I am totally guilty of comparing myself to other people. And that's not something that you should expect out of yourself to be like as great as other people or to be strong as other people. That that's something that you grow yourself. Confidence is something that you grow. Hello. Hello. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to take it. 
God of the sun. No. Mm, well, I don't know why you'd be living in a hut, but okay. You know? That's your choice. Where's there's a stair thing, right? Can I jump? Find a way inside. I can I can jump up there, right? No. My head hit. Okay. I'm dummy thick in the head, give me a second guys. Oh wait, is can I go on that branch? Nope. I don't think this is gonna do anything. Find a way inside. I know that it's... Wait, is that a... No, that's not even... Oh, I thought that was just dark. Okay. Interesting. Okay, this is a this is a little embarrassing. So basically, um, you have to lost my train of thought thinking about this. This is this is ridiculous. So you're gonna make mistakes, and strength, and as a person, and confidence is something that you find yourself. You can't expect yourself to be perfect right off, like, when you are born. Ha, okay, so there's no doors. There's nothing under here. Oh, please, I hope that other people had problem with this. I'm just, I feel like there's something that I need to use with my hook. Is that what I think it is? Nope. I heard- I saw a shiny thing. How that- oh! Oh! Right! Okay, I see it now. Okay. Sick. So basically... We go like this. And then we go down. Boop! And then we go in. And then I already have those. I wanna get down this ladder. Hi! You must be on the terraces. Where's the map? Forgive me, my lord. I don't have it. Ronin put me up to this. Wanted me to lure you inside. A trap. They know Lady Sanjo sent you. They want to trade the map for money. Come right. Come up. I have a deal for you. Stay oh. Yes, my lord. Time to fight some straw hats. Lovely. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I don't. Um. I don't got money. I got a bunch of predator pelts, though. You can take those. I got way too many. Oh. Oh. Guess we're fighting. I like to think of myself pretty funny, but you know, that's a personal opinion. Um. Oh, I guess we're murdering. Oh, I could have killed him. I could have killed him. Oh, I'm so pissed. But you have to be able to take the first step when it comes to gaining that strength and that confidence. Okay. Ooh. Come on! Oh, sh yeah! Okay. I hate the second slice, and I know I should expect it every time, but I forget. Oh, what did I upgrade? I don't want that. That's if I want to do something else, but I like shooting arrows. Oh, okay. I'll take the map. Thank you very much. That is. Oh, wait, no, it's a fan. Okay. Thank you, my lord. Run! 
Okay. All right, now I can just teleport there. Doop, 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 doop. So, it's honestly, well, I was, I was taking a step. Okay, taking the first step to be able to gain confidence and believing in yourself is honestly, everybody has the potential to do good. I don't care who you are. It's honestly you who needs to decide what you want to do for yourself. It's, there's a lot of things that come with confidence. Come, see what I can make for you, my lord. Like for me, I didn't have any confidence growing up. And I say this as not a way to talk about myself, but as something that maybe you could relate to or it could help you. And... Just for you. I'll see you again. I honestly I was really not confident in myself growing up. Like, I loved myself. Like, I thought I was pretty cool. But at the same time, I didn't. I felt like I wasn't ever gonna be as good as other people because at a young age, I was told that I had ADHD I and I had to work harder than everybody. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Not to feed the people and of which is what you when do. you're told that I told you it's this is my home and these are my it's hard for you they to feel still. confident I can feed them and so it's hard them. for you to believe in yourself and you them. value everybody's opinion and I wish I you knew that back then that what I know now and that's believing in who I am and what matters is what I think about myself not what other people think about me not my parents, not random people. It's what I think about me. And the truth is, now I know that I can do whatever I can put my mind to, my effort in. And it's, you know, it, being able to know that is really important but back then I didn't I had nobody to tell me or I didn't figure out that I needed to believe in myself what mattered is what I think about myself and I was responsible for my happiness and I am just walking aimlessly I want to go here let's go here and do this And basically, I have to go all the way over there. Okay, cool. So, can I just drop down here? I was told that I was supposed to work harder than any other person. And so when you tell that to a kid, they don't really want to put effort into anything because they're afraid that they're going to if it's hard for a regular human being, then it's going to be doubly as hard for you. And I didn't want to do that. Oh, is the only way out of here is that path, right? I don't know where that is. Right here? Nope. Yes? Nope. Nope. Okay, so basically, I say that a lot. Okay, so, <laughs> oh, you don't want, you don't, okay, I wanted to do a, <laughs> oh, I could have totally dodged that, um, okay, hi. Was that just one? Wow. Alright. This dude had a vendetta against me. Damn. I didn't want to do anything in school. Really. I mean, like, because it, like, I barely classed my classes when I had every reason to believe that I was good at stuff. Like, I'm not really good at math. That's, that's a totally different story. But... 
I honestly had every reason to believe in myself. And I didn't. I thought that I wasn't good at anything. I thought that I was going the right way. I thought that I was basically worthless. Because I wasn't, I didn't have like a skill or I wasn't this perfect person when I was like six years old. It's a lot of pressure to play on yourself when you're so young and that carries with us. That's not something that we grow out of. That's something that it's the same mentality that we have when we're young. It might alter into having something different. Some things that we're told when we're young make us depressed now. I was depressed for a little bit. And it's not a good feeling. Of course, I don't know how people feel when it comes to, I'll do this later, I just wanna go to this quest. When it comes to like long-term depression. But it's, it's not, it's not at all. It's a, it's a super serious matter and it's not anything that somebody should take lightly. And I feel that anybody can overcome it. It's just, it's a matter of what's specific to them and what helps them. But for when it comes to things that we believe when we're young and that it's carried on into our adulthood, that's, it's hard to think differently. It's hard to not stay in our way of thinking because that becomes part of our part of our personality, who we are. So I have like insecurities, hardcore. I have confidence issues that I'm working through. But knowing and doing are two different things. I know what I need to do for myself, but practicing it is a whole nother matter. But it also has to do with being brave knowing that everybody has the potential to be able to do good. It doesn't matter if they have certain le learning disabilities. It just makes them who they are and their way of learning. And things can be harder for people. It was, it's harder for me. It's hard for me to process stuff. I learned more slowly than other people. I had to ask the same question again and again, and it made me feel like I was stupid. But I'm not stupid. It's just that's just something that's part of me and what made it harder was you know being bullied and that really hurts your lows and, like your self-esteem but that's something that was kind of part of my fault because I didn't believe in myself Who's your friend? I gave them reaction because I just lashed out and I was sad and cried and whatever. And you have to be able to stand up for yourself. I'm not saying that it's at all easy, it is not. But if you give people reaction if you allow people to get in your head you are the person that determines i have to speak to the oh i thought i had to follow you Una. you know uh, that man might tell us what to expect inside better talk to him before they come back okay hey buddy you want to have a convo with Sunlight. me what do you want oh i want to talk to you that's what Something. i want you shouldn't be here if they see me oh gosh i had a good thought she runs this evening have you seen her Oh! Oh, damn. Okay, Yuna. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I was holding the wrong button. Hello. Oh! Run, boy, run. Who am I looking at? Oh, we're looking for him? Hey, how you doing? All right, okay, you don't want to talk to me. Okay. You are the person that decides when people get to you. 
When people say things to you that might be offensive or mean or whatever, usually there's something going on. Going, this is sorry. Let me say that again. Usually there's something going on with them, and they are, you know, pushing that onto you. No matter who it is, but you are the deciding factor on what gets to you. You allow things to get to you. It's a way of perspective and how you see it. Do yourself a favor, my lord. Yeah, it's. It's really hard to not take things personally, but at the end of the day, usually the case is, 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 that something is going on with that person in their lives that they feel that they can make you feel like crap because they feel like crap. They want you to feel the same way or whatever. And that's something that we go through in life. And many of you might already know that. And good on you if you do. I didn't. And learning that now, I just wish that I knew that earlier on. And I wouldn't be having so many problems with trying to be confident. But I'm learning these things where it's, it's what I think about myself that matters. When it comes to confidence is what I think, it's what I believe in, and I have every reason to believe that I can do what I want to do with my life, whether it's a career choice, or making this video, or whatever it is. You can do it. I think any of you can do it. And I hope that me saying any of these things helped you in this video and I would like to do more of them and I'm saying and a lot <laughs> I just hope that this helps because I know that confidence is something that is a huge problem for people and whenever it is your family, your friends, whoever it is, or just random people that really don't matter, don't let them get in your head. What matters is what you think of you. And you can do whatever you put your mind to. It's just you have to put your mind to it. You actually, you have to just try your best. And if you fail, you fail. If you make mistakes, you make mistakes and you learn from it. I have fallen, I have failed, and I expected myself to be this perfect human being, and that is so unrealistic. You are allowed to fail, you are allowed to make mistakes, you are a human. You are a human being. So anyway, this was Deep Thoughts with Rachel on confidence, and I hope to talk to you all later.